Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a garden tour. It's the first day of August, so it's the perfect time to take a walk around the garden and see where everything's at. I thought that we would start over here in this corner, go along the side of the fence, check out the garden in front of the deck, check out what's on the deck over in the corner, and then end on the upper deck with the planters. Hiding here in the corner, I have an eggplant. Now this eggplant has not done very well this season. I have this garden bed covered with netting because the bunnies keep eating down the eggplant and the beans. This eggplant has actually been eaten down a good couple of times already. He's growing back, but it's slow. It looks like other bugs are chewing on it. It definitely doesn't look good at all. The tomatoes are starting to ripen, but we're getting some yellowing of the leaves down along the bottom, so I need to get in here and do some pruning on the tomatoes, but they're definitely starting to ripen inside. And the rest of this garden bed is made up of bean plants. I've already harvested from these bean plants. They're looking pretty tattered and torn. They're getting chewed up by bugs. They need to be pulled out and I have some new seedlings started. So I'll be able to plant some new bean plants and have a new harvest of beans in about six to eight weeks. There's tons of tomatoes on this plant. I can't wait for them to ripen. I have a variety of different tomato plants planted throughout the garden, a variety of larger sized tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. But if you come around the corner, you might be able to see some of the ripe tomatoes that we have back here. These are the Sunrise Bumblebees. They're absolutely beautiful. Moving on to the next garden bed, we have another pile of beans here in the corner that I've harvested from. They're quite chewed up, they need to be pulled out. We have some more yellowing leaves here on the tomato plants in the back of the garden, but tons and tons of tomatoes on these plants. They are so abundant, tons more flowers coming on as well. We're just waiting for them to ripen. In front here I have a squash, this is a yellow squash. We actually have one ripe, ready to be picked. Just beautiful. And then if you move along, you'll see that we have some cucumbers. The cucumbers are looking old. This is from my first round of cucumbers. They've been through a lot, but I've gotten tons of cucumbers off of these plants. There's more ready to harvest. They're beautiful, they're dark green. I have a variety of cucumbers from long English telegraph cucumbers, market moors, pickling cucumbers, muncher cucumbers. You can see here that this tomato plant has completely died off. All of the leaves are yellowing. Majority of the plant is starting to ripen, but we need to do a lot of pruning in here. We need to see what's going on with this plant. I might need to spray it down, but I definitely need to prune out all the yellow leaves in here and harvest the tomatoes off this plant, but this plant is not looking good. We're getting some beautiful larger sized tomatoes starting to ripen. I can't wait to pull these from the plants. But if you come along the side, you can see that this tomato plant really is not doing well. It's unfortunate, but things do happen in the garden. Some beautiful ripe tomatoes down here. I'll be able to pull these. Beautiful larger cherry. And then in the final garden bed along the side of the fence, I have more zucchini plants. I've harvested tons of green zucchinis off of these plants. I'm hoping to get more green zucchini on these plants before I pull them, but I do have more zucchini plants growing, so new seedlings can take their place. But so far, these zucchini are looking super healthy and some new male flowers are coming on the plants. So I'm hoping to get lots more zucchini once the female flowers appear. 
Coming along this side of the garden bed in this corner, I have some more cucumber plants, pulling tons of cucumbers off, but you can see it has some sort of disease. I'm gonna need to spray down these leaves, do a little bit of pruning, but still tons of cucumbers growing on this plant. We've already harvested so many cucumbers, and we have some large tomatoes starting to ripen in here as well. Just beautiful. And then if I spin around here, we have more cucumber plants. This is where I've harvested most of my cucumbers so far. Tons of English cucumbers, telegraph cucumbers, market more cucumbers, with many more growing. This cucumber plant was beginning to climb up the fence, but unless I tie it, it won't stay there. So I may try to do that and trellis this cucumber plant right up the deck. If we turn the corner, this is the garden bed that is sitting in front of my deck. It gets the most sun in the day and it's just flourishing. The tomato plants are beautiful. They're green. They're 10 to 12 feet tall. In front of the tomatoes, I have a whole bunch of peppers. The peppers are not doing great. They did not flourish. They are stunted. They are very short, although they are still producing. We've harvested many peppers off of these plants. They're still producing peppers. The plants are just small. But I will try again next year and see if I can get better producing peppers. The tomatoes are producing, they're starting to ripen. There's hundreds of tomatoes on these plants. They're absolutely beautiful. Always plant basil and marigolds in your garden. It helps keep the bad critters away. The basil is absolutely gorgeous. It adds a beautiful scent to your garden. Excellent to add to dishes as well. Let's move up to the deck and see what's going on. On the right side of the deck by the stairs, I have a table full of seedlings that I've started. There's a mixture of basil, new beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini, plus lots of extra basil in pots that I've been harvesting from. But I have a whole bunch of micro tomatoes started in the front here. These are tomatoes that go from seed to harvest in a shorter amount of time. They're determinant tomatoes, which means they only grow two to three feet tall, these micro tomatoes, and they produce all of their tomatoes at once, and then the tomato plant dies off. We have more cucumbers started, as well as a couple more zucchini lots of basil and beans. I'll be planting these beans, getting them in the garden so that we can get another round of beans harvested in about six weeks. Over here on the left side of my deck is what I call my deck garden. Now the deck garden used to be on this side of the deck but something different since the last time I did a garden tour is that we stained our deck. So in the process of staining our deck, we moved our plants over to this side of the deck. And I actually think I like it better. We're gonna leave them here. But we have some cucumbers, some tomatoes that I just transplanted from another area, given to me from a friend. This is one of my micro tomatoes. This is a Tiny Tim. It's got an abundant amount of tomatoes on here. They're all starting to ripen. We've been harvesting from this plant already. They're absolutely beautiful. They taste super sweet. The plant itself is looking a little beat up, but it's going to ripen all of these tomatoes and then this plant will die off. We also have tons of herbs here. I have some dill going to seed, some parsley down in the corner, some peppermint and oregano. I love my herbs. We have a couple of peppers. Again, these peppers aren't thriving. They have peppers on the plants, but these peppers are not getting as tall as they should, and I'm not sure why, so that's something to figure out for next year. We also love our lettuce and we try to plant lettuce throughout the whole summer so I have lots of green lettuces here they're absolutely thriving this is my second round of lettuce my first round we got lettuce off of those plants for weeks and then they bolted because the temperatures are just too warm but I was able to plant new lettuce and the temperatures have cooled down slightly so they're doing quite well we have some kale as well and plenty of cucumbers growing on these plants Definitely plant what you love. We love cucumbers and tomatoes. 
so you'll find a lot of that in this garden. This cucumber plant over here in the corner definitely, definitely needs some TLC. I need to tie it up to these stakes that I have here. It needs some water, the soil is a bit dry. More beautiful baby cucumbers coming on. And that's what the duck garden is at right now. Last but not least are the planters on the upper deck. So as you go up the stairs here, I have a mixture of flowers and herbs. We have some green onions, some rosemary, and some chives. And then I mostly use the planters up here for lettuce. I like that it's right next to my door to the kitchen. I'm able to come out here and grab some lettuce. And then I also have some flowers. So I added some new lights and some Creeping Jenny just for decoration but the romaine is thriving. And this is what my garden looks like on the first day of August. Plenty to do in the garden, lots of work to be done. The vegetables are starting to ripen. I've been harvesting a ton of zucchini, beans, starting to harvest tomatoes, I've been harvesting cucumbers, but there's always lots to be done in the garden and the work never stops, but the fun never stops either. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you found it helpful and share it with a friend so that they can learn too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends!